Good morning, everybody. My name is Kern Wildenthal. I'm president of UT Southwestern Medical Center, and I'm delighted to welcome everybody here today. Uh, especially delighted to welcome four of the nine members of the University of Texas System Board of Regents, Chairman James Huffines, Vice Chairman Rita Clements, Regent Robert Estrada and Regent Robert Rowling, as well as a number of the board members of Southwestern Medical Foundation, including the Chairman of the Board, uh, Platt Carr, and the President, I'm sorry, Chairman of the Board, Paul Bass, and President Platt Carr. Uh, you're probably wondering why we asked you to come today. Uh, we are here for an exceptionally important announcement about a gift that will transform the future of two of Texas's and the world's uh, leading medical institutions. And without uh, prolonging the suspense, it is a great honor and privilege to share the wonderful news that T. Boone Pickens, through the foundation he established in 2006, is donating $100 million, $50 million to Southwestern Medical Foundation for the benefit of UT Southwestern Medical Center, and an additional $50 million to the University of Texas's MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston. This $100 million donation from Mr. Pickens is the largest one-time gift from a living donor in the history of the University of Texas system. Now, Boone Pickens needs no introduction, of course. He's a legendary entrepreneur and a legendary philanthropist. A hallmark of his career is that he is not bound by the traditional way of doing things. He brings creative and far-sighted ideas to his business goals and he's equally innovative in his philanthropy. This $100 million gift to UT Southwestern and MD Anderson is a great example of his unique approach and farsightedness. Boone's goal is to ensure that our institutions are able to be international leaders, not just now, but also for generations to come. And toward this end, he has stipulated that his gift should be invested for 25 years before being expended. With 10% compounded average annual investment returns, which have been achieved by Southwestern Medical Foundation and the University of Texas Investment Corporation for a number of years, this initial gift of $100 million will be worth $1 billion within 25 years, thus guaranteeing our long-term ability to continue to be international leaders in medical research and clinical care. This is a great day for medicine in Dallas and in Texas, and it's impossible to express adequately our gratitude to Boone Kickens. If anyone can come close to doing so, however, it is Boone's good friend, Paul Bass, the chairman of the board of Southwestern Medical Foundation, to which UT Southwestern's gift is being made and which will be responsible for its investment. Paul, if you would please come to the podium for a few words about Boone, after which we will also hear from the Chairman of the Board of Regents of the UT System, Jane Tuffines, and the UT Chancellor, Mark Udoff. Paul Bass. I hope there's a doctor in the house because Bobby Stillwell told me this was all just a joke. <clears throat> and they really didn't, there's King's X, they didn't intend to do it anyway, but uh, I had heart failure. Uh, <laughs> Boone, the standing ovation was in lieu of you giving a speech. Uh, <coughs> reminds me a lot of Holdenville, Oklahoma, doesn't it? This group here and about the same size as Holdenville. We're here today really to thank you for two gifts. One is certainly financial, which is well received and appreciated, but more importantly, Boone, we're here to thank you for your vision, a vision that started almost 79 years ago. I only wish today that Grace and Tom and your grandmother Nellie could be here to see this. What has happened? 
for a very small beginning in a small town in Oklahoma. And what is most important, Boone, about this gift is that the most generosity anyone can experience and, and provide is a gift to people you'll never know for generations to come to help those through these institutions to live better and longer and more productive lives. For that, we thank you. Thank Madeline, Jean Frankel, with all y'all's input to this whole process, this whole time for the last year and a half, we wouldn't be here today. So I thank both of y'all for that and your commitment to Boone's dream. It's very important to us. With that being said, I want to introduce my good friend, Chairman of the Board of Regents to UT System, and son of my best friend, James Huffines. James? <clears throat> Thank you, and I want to take just a moment to thank Paul Bass for his leadership as chairman of the foundation for the last 12 years and for his lifetime commitment to making this community a better place. Thank you, Paul. I think my fellow regents will agree when I say that all of the members of the Board of Regents are absolutely overwhelmed with the generosity and the vision of this gift. It is, as President Wildenthal indicated, the largest one-time gift of a living donor in UT system history. Even if Boone prefers a different shade of orange, <laughs> we are profoundly grateful for this gift and the purposes it underwrites. Boone is not exactly a stranger in these parts. He is well known in Texas as savvy and strategic businessman who can take the long view and anticipate trends often well before others see them on the horizon. And that's what he's doing today. As he does in business, he's making a very selective investment in the future of health and health care in Texas. He's betting on medical research in Texas. It's a smart wager and one that will pay off with cures and treatments and improved quality of life for many generations to come. We know that today's announcement is about Boone's love for the state of Texas and his desire to ensure that our children and our grandchildren have access to the best medical research and medical care in Texas. It really doesn't get more visionary than this. So in recognition of Boone's vision, his generosity and fidelity to the state of Texas and its future. On behalf of the Board of Regents, I am delighted to announce that the recently completed Medical Research and Education Building here at UT Southwestern will henceforth be known as the T. Boone Pickens Biomedical Building. Thank you, Boone.